Chris, thanks for having MTD back at Brafe Engineering Limited here in, in Ipswich. It's a pleasure to be back. Now, um, today we're looking at the solutions provided from SolidCam. Um, with the complexity of parts changing all the time and the capabilities of the machine tools evolving, how important is it to have the right CAD CAM package? It's absolutely paramount and they have to run seamlessly with each other. You can, with all the top technological advances you can get in the machinery, the CAD CAM has got to be there to support it. Without it, you've basically got a standard three axis mill. So talk us through this application that we've come to have a look at today. Traditionally, this is a part that we would normally, actually years ago we used to buy it in as a casting, which is a very expensive and costly thing. Um, it, the lead times on the casting was generally around 10 to 12 weeks for forged titanium. Um, so therefore we looked at the option of making machining it from solid billet, which we used to do on our standard three axis machines, but now we've got the five, full five axis, we can now machine them a lot quicker with a lot shorter lead times, um, which benefits us and the customer. So when you talk about shorter lead times, what are the cycle time savings that you've achieved so far? On this particular part, it'd probably take a week and a half to two weeks going through the traditional methods, um, just because of the number of operations that we had to go through. With this part now, we can do it in two operations on here, and then we do a, a turning operation afterwards and the part's complete. Wow, and what kind of strategies or what kind of features from SolidCam if it has enabled you to make these kind of savings? Well, it's, it was funny, when I first um, got introduced to eye machining and I showed the guys here, um, both Pat and Lee, what it was going to do and potentially how it was going to run, they said to me, no, that will never work, that's never going to do that. But I said, look, you've got to have the face, the technology is there, they haven't built a business around something that doesn't work, and sure enough, we put it in, and it's doing 18 mil depths of cut with a four mil step over, and it will do it all day long. So with full fifth axis simultaneous movements and turning capability as well. How easy is it to program? With SolidCam, it's very, very easy. It's all very graphical. It's The simulation is seamless. You can understand what's going to happen, what's not going to happen, and detect crashes before they get down to the shop floor. Um, I don't expect this machine to ever have a crash, apart from if a tool breaks, and that's, that's the world of cutting metal. So it works seamlessly with the machine tool um, but you know considering that the work holding is correct is it giving you tool life longevity as well yeah definitely it's just you can manage your speeds and feeds you can get clean cutting data the tool paths are, are generally quite gentle on the tools as well uh, particularly with the eye machining strategies it's it is seamless so Chris from a technical perspective it sounds like you've really found a, a perfect partnership um, but what about the service and support? The service and training we've had so far has been great. Um, we've, Ben's always been on call with sort of 24 hour help, helpline whenever we need it. Um, yeah, we can't fault the service and support we've had from them. And I can see us probably buying more licenses in the future. Adam, you've been investing lots of money in the latest machine tools and the latest technology. And Chris has just said he's going to buy more licenses for solid camp. You know, <laughs> How important is all this investment to your business? It, it's always been a critical part of the way we approach business. Is, um, we try to offer something different to our customers. Um, a more cutting leading edge than just being a foundry or machine shop. We try and be an engineering solution for them. But in order to do that, you've got to keep investing. You've got to keep moving forward. Um, and that includes both in the foundry side of our business and the machining. So the investment in the Grob is, is a key part of the future in terms of us stepping into that, that next service offering to our customers. Now you're still keeping some of them traditional skills, which is brilliant, such as pattern making and you mentioned the foundry. But now we've, we've investments such as, as, as the Grob and some of the latest CAD CAM packages for the programming. What difference has that made to your business? And would you still be able to remain competitive without it? We could remain competitive without it now, five years down the road. Um, who, who can say? It's very unlikely, you know. Um, this technology is going to be all-consuming and there'll be a time where if you haven't got a five-axis or a machine of this calibre, you'll get left behind. We intend to be ahead of that curve, um, which is really important. And, and we act in that way across our business. So investing in five-axis technology here and the, and the solid cam packages 
are critical to this side of the business, but you've also got the 3D printing technology and all of the other associated 3D scanning and model development that we do in the foundry as well. So it's, it's an end-to-end -end kind of our take on Industry 4.0, I suppose, in terms of using that, that 3D technology and that, that digital information, allowing us to improve as a business. Well, congratulations on the team that you've got working here for you uh, at Brave. You've got some fantastic people and it looks like you're going to continue to invest in the latest technology too. Absolutely, yeah, investing is, is critical. Um, at the moment, you know, the, the kind of business landscape is a little bit unknown for all businesses. So we're just, we're just navigating the here and now, taking the days and weeks as they come, um, but planning for the brighter days that are certainly ahead. Um, and when you talk about investing, it's, it's not only investing in, in plant and machinery, it's investing in our people, development of youth skills and, and development of our processes um, to make sure we continue to move forward in all aspects of the business.